we are going to integrate tangent to the fifth power x. This time, I will show you guys how to use the sine and cosine approach for this. If you want to use the secant and tangent approach for this, check out the description down below. I have another video for you. Anyways, we know tangent x is equal to sine x over cosine x. So tangent to the fifth power x is the same as saying we have sine to the fifth power x over cosine to the fifth power x dx, like this. And the strategy is, on the numerator, I'm going to take out one of the sine, and then for the rest right here, I will change all of them in terms of cosine. You will see, this is going to be integral, and I'm going to split this up, so I'm going to have sine to the fourth power x over, on the bottom, is cosine to the fifth power x, but then I would like to put down one of the sine on the side, like this. And then, as I said earlier, we are going to change this in terms of uh, cosine expression. How can we do that though? Well, we know sine square x, this is the same as saying 1 minus cosine square x, isn't it? So, on the top, we have sine to the fourth power x. This is sine to the second power. So, I'm going to look at this as integrating. Here we have sine to the second power x and then square. This way we can get the fourth power that we want, isn't it? On the bottom, we still have cosine to the fifth power x. And then we have the sine x right here. And let me just take this identity, plug into here. So we are looking at this as integral of 1 minus cosine square x, and then we have that to the second power, over this is cosine to the fifth power x. This is my s, this is my 5. And then we have the sine x on the side, right? The advantage of this is that right here, we can use u sub. Let u equals to cosine, because the derivative of cosine is negative sine, and then we can somehow cancel this sine out, right? So let me put this on the side. Right here, I'm going to say let u equals to cosine x, and then we get du equals to negative sine x dx, isolating the dx, we can divide both sides by negative sign. So dx equals to du over negative sine x. So this is going to be integral, 1 is just a 1, minus, here we have cosine squared, cosine is du, so inside we have u squared, right? And then this is to the second power, on the bottom, we have this cosine to the fifth power, which is going to be u to the fifth power then. And then we have the sine x on the side. But then for the dx, we know it's going to be du over negative sine x. So let me just change it right here. du over negative sine x. And as you can see, this sine x and that sine x will cancel out, so we took this integral completely into the u world. So let's see what we have after that. Be sure you have this negative, right? So let me take this to the outside. So we have this is integral or negative integral. We have 1 minus u squared and a square. This part here, we just have to expand it out. So on the top, if you expand it out, we get 1 squared, which is just 1, and then we subtract 2 times this times that, so we have minus 2, 1 times u squared, so altogether is 2 u squared. At the end, we add this squared, so u squared squared, which get u to the fourth power, all over u to the fifth power, like this du. And then we can split this up now. Because to integrate this, be sure you first put on negative. We are going to just split the fraction. So you will see, we haven't done integral yet though. So I still have the integral sign. Split the fraction because we're one thing on the bottom. The first part we are going to get is 1 over u to the fifth power. And that is going to be u to the negative 5 power, right? And then let me put down the minus 2. And then u to the second power over u to the fifth power, we subtract the exponents. 2 minus 5 is negative 3. And then this is u to the fourth power over 
u to the fifth power. This is going to be plus. And let me just write it as 1 over u for this time. This is just 1 over u. I know it's u to a negative 1, but let me just do this right here for you guys. And perhaps you notice why. First, <laughs> before I talk about anything, print this negative sign down, and then open the parentheses for the result of the integration. u to the negative 5, to integrate this, we have to do the power rule backwards. So let's add 1. And then look at the new exponent, which is negative 4. And then divide it by this new exponent, which is 1 over negative 4. For the first one, we are going to have negative 1 over 4, u to the negative 4 power. OK, so that's the integration part. And then for the second one, do the same thing. Negative 3, let's add 1 to it. So the new exponent is negative 2. And then we divide it by the new exponent. So look at this is negative 2. And we divide it by the new exponent, which is negative 2. This and that together, negative 2 divided by negative 2, we have positive 1. Positive 1 times u to the negative 2 power, like this. At the end, what's the integral of 1 over u? This is a special case, isn't it? It's ln absolute value of u. That's why I didn't put it down as u to the negative 1 power. Anyways, we just add ln absolute value of u, like this. So we are done with the integration part. At the end, the usual business, we change this back into the x, and then we box the answer. Perhaps right here, we can definitely distribute the negative sign into the parentheses. We'll do that. We'll do two things right here. Negative times negative, of course, give us positive. And then I will bring this down to the denominator, OK? so. Right here, the u will be down below, and then u is cosine x. That means we will have cosine to the fourth power x for the first one. And then for the second one, negative times positive, that's minus. u squared, so u to the negative 2, that means we have 1 over u to the second power, but that u is cosine, so we have cosine squared x. The last one, negative times positive is negative ln absolute value u is cosine x and this is pretty much it but then here is the final touch 1 over 4 okay but then 1 over cosine to the fourth power x we can write it as secant to the fourth power x likewise for this one minus this is secant to the second power x and then you can leave the answer like this negative ln absolute value cosine x if you use Wolfram Alpha, this is exactly the answer on Wolfram Alpha. So let me put a plus C because this right here definitely deserves to be the answer. But if you notice right here, you could have bring the negative to the top as the exponent. And this is cosine x to the negative 1, meaning it's 1 over cosine x. So this part you can write it as plus ln absolute value of secant x, if you would like as well. But anyways, this is the answer. This is it.